Hey, welcome back. We're going to hit a quick little, last little addendum, a little asterisk, well, not quite an asterisk, because this is, I mean, very important, but um, one last little thing before we hit into reviewing all of these wonderful line things, and it's a special topic called horizontal and vertical lines. Um, Horizontal vertical lines, very special options. Um, we're going to, as I said, chat through them about the equations are really, really simple. It is easy if you don't pay attention to get them confused. So this is one of the ones where don't just say, hey, yeah, I got it, and then you're going to get it wrong because that's what happens. All right, so can I graph an equation in any form? Okay, great. Yes, I'm sure you can. All right, here's the deal. Horizontal lines, like the horizon, are flat. Okay, notice here, this is my horizontal line. And in this case here, it's y equals any number, because notice on every single one of these points, you know what, this is a special topic, so we're going to, on every one of these points have the same y value. Every one. Okay. In this case, in this case here, the y values are all at negative four. Okay, so this is five. This is five negative four. This is two negative four. My y-intercept is at zero negative four. This one is at negative two negative four. This is at four negative four. And what ends up happening is because the y. And so in this case, the y equals a number. Okay, horizontal lines, y equals number. In this case, it's going to be y equals negative 4. It's going to be that way all the time because every single point, it doesn't matter what your x value is. You plug in it, you pick an x value, y is going to equal negative 4. Always, 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 always. Okay, pi is x. Well, then your y value is negative 4. Plug in an x value of 7 billion, y is negative 4. It is a flat line. You're going to plot a whole bunch of them. Vertical lines work the opposite way. There, your x values are all the same. That's not how it was supposed to work. Okay. Notice. Okay. Highlighter tries to know what I want to do. Anyway, but again, notice here x equals three. Here and 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 here and here and here and here. All over the place. Everywhere, x is equal to 3. And so because of that, it's a vertical line. Um, so again, always the same line here. The slope here is undefined. Because notice, the change in y is there, but you're dividing through by x. There's no change in your x value. Over here, your slope is 0. Okay, There is no slope. This is a bad ski hill. There is no slope. There are zero slopes to go skiing on, or sledding down. Okay. If you watch the Tour de France, they're uncategorized climbs because, you know, there's no... They're so steep that they're just horrendous. And that analogy is not going to work. So anyway, here, x equals 2. So that means that all x values are 2. So, this is a vertical line. You can memorize that, or you can do this. All x values are 2, so that means that I'm going to have a 2 here, and a, all the y values, actually, for every y. So it doesn't matter what my y values are, because, again, x, y, everything is going to have an x value of 2. And if I keep on filling in all these dots, look what happens. It's a vertical line. Ta-da. Done. For y equals negative 4, that means that all y values are negative 4. For every x. So in this case, again, y equals negative 4. Here's my x values, here's y. So here's y equals negative 4. And it's for every single x value. It doesn't matter which one it is, I get y equals negative 4. Oh, look. all over. Hey! Zoom. 
Now, this is part of the reason, I mean, because obviously the equations are not complicated. It's a variable. X equals the number, Y equals the number. But it's easy enough that people just like, oh, I can do this, and then they don't practice, and then they make mistakes. And you know what happens when people make mistakes? People die. So don't do that. So Y is always 8 for any X. So again, y equals 8. Where's it? Here's x, here's y, y equals 8. It's right here. So any y value, or the y value is going to be 8 for anything else. Ooh. That's horizontal. This one's going to be vertical. But again, x always equals negative 5 for any y. So go over here. Dum bum bum ba bum bum bum. Do do do. There's x equals negative five. Any value. Those are all x equals negative five. Very very good. Sometimes you may have to solve for x. Oh no! Whatever will I do? Oh guess what? Subtract three. Where's x equal to negative 3? Right here. For all y. Oh, look. This y and 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 this y. Everybody gets x equals negative 3. It's like going to Oprah. You get a negative 3, and you get an x equals negative 3, and you get an x equals negative 3. And last but not least. Horizontal line. Okay. So that's it, the basics. Have you some practice now? Come on back. Talk to you soon.